Hi, my name is Nathan and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in John chapter 14, verse 6. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Our daily word for today is the word truth. Let's say this word together. Truth. What does the word truth mean? Truth is verifiable fact. Okay, so verifiable fact. So the word verify or verifiable means that you can check it. That if something is true, you can check it. So if a math equation is true, you can check it. There's something that makes sense about how you got your answer. Or if you're telling a truth about yourself. If I say that I am an American citizen, I can prove that. That's a verifiable fact. So that is a truth. So a lie is the opposite. It cannot be verified. It's something that is just something that someone made up. You can fake it. But truth is verifiable fact. So now that we have a basic understanding of the word truth, let's put it back into the scripture. Our topic sentence for today is this. God wants us to know the truth. Say that with me. God wants us to know the truth. So, in this verse, it's a very famous verse, saying that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Truth. Verifiable fact. So what we see in this verse and in the gospel and in the life of Jesus is that God so badly wants us to know what is true. And his son is the truth. The truth can be hard to hear. The truth can be something that is is sometimes unwelcome. But the truth is verifiable fact. When you go to the doctor, maybe if you have some pain in your body, or if you're curious about something that's happening, you want the doctor to tell you the truth. You don't go to the doctor to get your feelings uplifted. You don't go to the doctor to be um, to be praised or to, to be complimented. You go to the doctor for truth. Sometimes we don't take that approach with Jesus. Sometimes we want to go to Jesus, the great physician, and we just want him to compliment us. We want him to say, I love you, child. I, I, will, I will do great th- things in your life, and I forgive you for everything, and, and you're going to be great because of me. We love to hear those things. What we don't often like to hear is him saying, you need to repent because of what this is doing to your life and to our relationship. You need to change for your good and for our good. We often don't like to hear that. We want to do what we want to do. But what you will find in Jesus is he will tell you the truth. He will not tell you exactly what you want to hear or what you like to hear, but he will tell you what's true. And if you approach the gospel, if you approach Jesus saying, I want to know truth, you will get truth in abundance. And that will totally reshape and transform the way that you see yourself, the way you see this world, and the way you see your place in this world. It will cause you and it will command that you change and command that you give up authority over your life so that Jesus can be the only way, but so that you can have true life. Not life where you're barely making it and you think you know, but life with confidence, a life with perseverance, a life with glory shared with the Son, Jesus. When you go to the Gospels, you will get truth. And that might offend you. It probably will offend you. It should, because it's offensive to our sin. But he's giving you truth because he wants you to have the way to life. So Jesus is that. He is the truth. So I challenge you, if you haven't yet, and if you do believe in Jesus, go back to it. And go back to Jesus, approaching him as the only way and everything he says to be truth about the the great things you're experiencing and about the, the shameful things that you know about who you are. Let him tell you the truth. 
We're surrounded by things that often don't tell us the truth. Be refreshed hearing the truth in the Gospels by Jesus. Well, that does it for today's episode of The Daily Word. If you like this video or you found it helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below or like this video. And maybe try to use this word in your daily life. What are some truths about yourself? But in the context of this scripture, remember that God wants you to know the truth. God wants to show you the truth so that you can have life. Well, my name is Nathan, and this was your Daily Word. See you next time.